a galaxy with a mysterious black eye, a heart bursting with energy, and a chaotic past that defies everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. What secrets does the Black Eye Galaxy hold? And how did a celestial collision leave its mark on this stunning masterpiece of the universe? Hold on tight as we journey 19 million light years to uncover the turbulent and beautiful story of M64. The Black Eye Galaxy, also known as M64, is a stunning spiral galaxy with a singular appearance and an eccentric dynamic. It is possible to observe the Black Eye Galaxy from the northern hemisphere of Earth using an amateur telescope or even binoculars, provided weather conditions are favorable. It is located in the direction of the modern constellation Coma Berenices, named after the Queen of Egypt, who sacrificed her hair to the gods for the safe return of her husband from battle. This galaxy was first observed in 1779 by the astronomer Edward Pigott, though Johann Bode also independently recorded it in the same year. In the early 1990s, M64 became a focus of study for astronomers when advanced spectroscopic techniques allowed them to map the motion of its gas and stars. These studies revealed fascinating details that would challenge existing theories about spiral galaxies and their evolution. Let's head to the galaxy. Now, each bright dot is an entire galaxy. Each galaxy holds millions, billions, or even trillions of stars. The Black Eye Galaxy is located approximately 19 million light years from Earth. The light from this galaxy takes 19 million years to reach us. The first Homo sapiens walked on Earth around 300,000 years ago. The light from that time will still take another 18.7 million years to reach the Black Eye Galaxy. The Black Eye Galaxy owes its name to its striking appearance. Vast, dark clouds of interstellar dust and gas in contrast with its bright nucleus. These features resemble a bruised eye, which inspired the nickname Black Eye Galaxy. It is also known as the Sleeping Beauty Galaxy, a name proposed by the astronomer Vera Rubin, who found it too beautiful to be associated with something as grim as a black eye. The galaxy spans approximately 70,000 light years in diameter, making it smaller than the Milky Way, which stretches over 100,000 light years. The captivating appearance of the Black Eye Galaxy results from its two very distinct main disks, and even more impressive, from the astonishing motion of these disks of gas and dust. 
these disks rotate in opposite directions, a rare and fascinating phenomenon. The inner region, about 5,000 light years across, rotates in one direction, while the outer region, extending to around 33,000 light years, rotates in the opposite direction. To uncover this unusual behavior, astronomers use spectroscopy, a technique that splits light into its component wavelengths. By analyzing the patterns of redshift and blueshift in the light emitted by the gas, they determined which parts of the galaxy were moving toward or away from us. This groundbreaking observation revealed the counter-rotating motion of the galaxy's inner and outer regions. At the contact zone between the disks, gas velocities can reach a staggering 1 million kilometers per hour. This contact zone is an area of vigorous gas interaction and accumulation, leading to the formation of many stars. The unusual rotation and black eye structure of this galaxy are likely the result of a merger between a large galaxy and a smaller one, approximately 1 billion years ago. Despite its turbulent past, the Black Eye Galaxy maintains an elegant and imposing structure. Let's travel through the galaxy. At this scale, each bright dot is a star. As we move closer, the diversity of stars in the Black Eye Galaxy becomes apparent. Blue stars, for instance, are young and extremely luminous, born from the intense interaction of gases in regions of active star formation. These regions are often found along the spiral arms and the contact zones where the galaxy's counter-rotating disks collide. But not all stars here are young. Many red and yellow stars, far older and cooler, populate the quieter regions of the galaxy. These ancient stars represent the galaxy's past, a living timeline of its evolution over billions of years. The Black Eye Galaxy contains approximately 100 billion stars. To put that into perspective, our Milky Way is home to roughly 200 to 400 billion stars, making M64 smaller but no less extraordinary. Each star in this galaxy could host its own planets, moons, asteroids, and comets, creating a staggering variety of potential cosmic systems. If the Black Eye Galaxy shares a similar planetary distribution to our Milky Way, an average of two planets per star, then there may be 200 billion planets orbiting its stars. Interestingly, regions of active star formation within M64 appear to be concentrated in the contact zone where its inner and outer gas disks meet. The collisions of gas in this area ignite the birth of countless young stars, creating some of the brightest and hottest stellar clusters in the galaxy. The Black Eye Galaxy is classified as a Seyfert galaxy, meaning it has a small but incredibly luminous nucleus. This makes it not only a visual marvel, but also an energetic powerhouse in the universe. Astronomers believe this dazzling brightness is powered by a supermassive black hole located at the very core of the galaxy. This black hole is surrounded by a disk of gas and dust spiraling toward it, generating incredible amounts of energy as the material heats up while falling inward. The nucleus of M64 is so compact and energetic that its luminosity is equivalent to 10,000 times the brightness of the Milky Way's core. What's even more fascinating is the variability of its brightness. Observations show that the light emitted by the nucleus can fluctuate significantly in just a single year, sometimes doubling or halving in intensity. This rapid variability indicates that the region is extremely small, likely spanning only a few light days or light weeks in size. The activity in the nucleus also contributes to its classification as a Seifert galaxy, a group of galaxies known for their intensely luminous and dynamic cores. These galaxies are often studied for their connections to quasars, the most powerful active galactic nuclei in the universe.
the Black Eye Galaxy's nucleus, though smaller and quieter than a quasar, is a vital piece of the puzzle in understanding how galaxies evolve and the role that supermassive black holes play in shaping their environments. If a civilization were to point a super telescope in our direction right now, it would be receiving light that traveled from Earth 19 million years ago. Possible observers from the Black Eye Galaxy would now be receiving light from the Miocene Epoch, a period of the Cenozoic Era. The Miocene Epoch was marked by the formation of great mountain ranges. Its fauna was diverse and included many mammals. It was also the time of the Megalodon, a giant shark, and one of the terror birds, a large predatory bird. The Miocene Epoch was also characterized by the adaptation of whales and seals. Whales, for example, descended from small land mammals no larger than a dog, like the Pachycetus. Over millions of years, mutations allowed them to adapt fully to life in water. These are the ancestors of modern whales. Ninety-nine percent of species that ever lived on Earth are now extinct, but many species that exist today have origins in the Miocene Epoch. At this very moment, Earth's past can be observed by distant civilizations. The light of our present has just begun its journey into the vastness of the universe. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more journeys into space. Consider supporting the channel by becoming a member or sending a thanks to help keep these journeys going. Got a destination in mind? Share it in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next flight.